In this video, we are going to look at a movie that Mandela Effect researchers have probably scrutinized more than any other. This is the other movie that was referenced in The Matrix. It's The Wizard of Oz. This movie is known to have been changed by the Mandela Effect in numerous ways, so this should be a fruitful investigation. I am using the Warner Brothers Family Entertainment DVD version of this classic movie. At two seconds in the movie, we see the Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer logo. But was it always Mayer with an A, or was it Meyer with two E's? This is a Mandela effect that seems to have a lot of people wondering, so we are interested in it, but you know what? I feel like we can leave this off the list. It's exactly like the Oscar Meyer Mandela effect, isn't it? It's very interesting. So, moving right along. At 5 minutes, 45 seconds in the movie, we hear something interesting. Dorothy says, behind the moon. We already put the moon on our list of Mandela movie markers for two of the three previous movies we analyzed. Just based on that, it will be a movie marker here too. But wait, there's more. Dorothy said, behind the moon. From our perspective, behind the moon is the dark side of the moon. There is a Mandela effect specifically for the album, The Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. Maybe you know about this one. People remember it as Dark Side of the Moon without a the at the beginning of the title. But wait, there's even more. Have you ever heard of something called Dark Side of the Rainbow? It is also sometimes called The Dark Side of Oz or The Wizard of Floyd. It is a certain way that the album The Dark Side of the Moon and the movie The Wizard of Oz can be enjoyed at the same time for a whole new experience. The trick is to synchronize them just right. If done correctly, the sounds and lyrics of the album seem to narrate and accompany the movie's action in interesting and meaningful ways. I'm definitely intrigued when I think about what this means. Wizard of Oz has Mandela effects. Dark Side of the Moon is a Mandela effect. Dorothy says, Behind the Moon, right before singing Over the Rainbow, and the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon album cover has a rainbow on the cover. Additionally, people discovered that the movie and the album go together really well, long before the Mandela Effect became a known phenomenon. I'd say it's getting awfully kawinky dinkle in here. <laughs> Let's get back to Wizard of Oz. At 5 minutes 46 seconds, just a second after Dorothy says Behind the Moon, a cow comes into view in the background. Laughing cow cheese is a Mandela Effect, and I can tell you with certainty... I remember the laughing cow cow having a nose ring. It was definitely there. We're adding cow to the list. Dorothy's comment about the moon was an introduction to her song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. She says the word rainbow at 5 minutes 54 seconds, and there are multiple Mandela effects involving rainbows. This one belongs on the list for sure. At 6 minutes 48 seconds in our movie, Dorothy sings Lemon Drops. There are lemon drops that have been changed by the Mandela effect, namely Lemonheads Candy. Do you remember Lemonheads? I used to eat those. It is now Lemonhead. There's that missing S thing again. Have you noticed that with Mandela effects? Taking away an S at the end of a word or a name. Anyway, Lemon Drops is a movie marker. Let's look at our list so far. At 12 minutes 46 seconds, we see the inside of Professor Marvel's trailer for the first time, and he has two skulls on display in there. Our skulls have been changed by the Mandela effect. This is going to be a movie marker. At 12 minutes 59 seconds, Professor Marvel mentions Egyptian pharaohs, King Tutankhamun, or however you might want to say that, was a pharaoh, and he is the subject of a Mandela effect. His famous golden death mask has changed to include a vulture decoration next to the cobra. We will put this on our list of Mandela movie markers. At 14 minutes, 28 seconds, Professor Marvel says the word heart. This was a movie marker in The Matrix also. At 18 minutes, 28 seconds in the movie, Miss Gulch turns into a witch. The means by which witches were executed during the Salem, Massachusetts witch trials was changed by the Mandela effect. 
we will add this to our list of movie markers. It is at 20 minutes, 51 seconds in our movie that we hear Dorothy say, Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Dorothy used to say, Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. This one belongs on our list. Let's see how that list is looking, by the way. It is at 30 minutes and 2 seconds in the movie that we get our first close-up glimpse of the ruby slippers on Dorothy's feet. There is some discussion online about Dorothy's socks having changed color. The socks are blue in the movie, but some people remember them being white. I looked at the blue socks and felt they didn't look quite right, but my memory of it was not that strong. I did some research and I found something very interesting. They have a Dorothy Gale wax figure at Madame Tussauds Museum in New York City. Search the internet for Wizard of Oz, Madame Tussauds, and you will find pictures of their Dorothy wax figure. Look at the socks. They're white. This is residue from a very reputable source. Madame Tussauds is world famous for the high quality and accuracy of their wax figures. I do not believe for one second that they failed to put the right color socks on their Dorothy. This is the work of the Mandela Effect, and so it will be a movie marker on this list. At 37 minutes, we hear Dorothy sing, With the thoughts you'd be thinking, you could be another Lincoln, if you only had a brain. The giant statue of Lincoln in our nation's capital changed its pose at least twice. This is definitely a reference to a Mandela Effect, and we are keeping track. They are still singing, and the scarecrow just sang, My head all full of stuffin' at 37 minutes and 22 seconds. There is definitely a Mandela effect for stuffing, namely stovetop. This will be another Mandela movie marker. Here's something I never noticed before. The Scarecrow and Dorothy just finished their song and strode down the yellow brick road together, and the very next scene opens on a toucan. Does that sound like a familiar Mandela effect? What about Toucan Sam of Fruit Loops fame? You can see the toucan at 39 minutes, 14 seconds in the movie. At 43 minutes, 29 seconds in the movie, the Tin Man references the famous balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet. He sings, picture me, a balcony. Above, a voice sings low. Then we hear a female voice say, wherefore art thou, Romeo? The scene is the subject of a widely discussed Mandela effect, since a window is mentioned in the script for Romeo and Juliet and not a balcony. We'll have to add this to our list. This list is really coming along. Let's take a look. At 48 minutes, 39 seconds, we have a Mandela movie marker trifecta. Dorothy is worried about running into wild animals, and the scarecrow asks, animals that, that eat straw? The Tin Man replies with a mouthful of Mandela Effect references. He says, uh, some, but mostly lions and tigers and bears. Lions and tigers and bears? Oh my! All three of these have been changed by the Mandela Effect. As for lions, there is a certain lion that went missing from the King James Bible. This Mandela effect is found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 6, begins with the phrase, The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb. There are a lot of people who remember this verse saying something different, and so do I. Instead of mentioning a wolf, it said, The lion shall lie down with the lamb. But the mention of a lion at the beginning of this verse no longer exists. Based on that, we can say we have another movie marker here. Then there is Tony the Tiger with his blue nose and Smokey Bear. I definitely remember it being Smokey the Bear. That's three separate references to things that were changed by the Mandela Effect in one breath. We hear more about the lion and the lamb Mandela Effect when Dorothy and company meet the cowardly lion. The lion tells them, look at the circles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. The Tin Man asks him, why don't you try counting sheep? So the Tin Man is essentially suggesting that the lion should lie down with lambs. Are you getting this? Yeah. At one hour, seven minutes in the movie, 
the lion mentions the Sphinx. And this is definitely an interesting Mandela effect if you look it up. This is another movie marker for our list. Now here is a stunning change to the movie at 1 hour, 13 minutes, 7 seconds. You will find lots of commentary online about this one. Do you remember the Scarecrow having a gun? He is actually carrying a revolver. Most of what people are saying about this scene centers around the Scarecrow's gun, but I don't think that is the only new addition here. The Tin Man still has his silver axe, but he also carries a big pipe wrench. The Cowardly Lion has a butterfly net and a truly huge bug sprayer labeled Witch Remover. It is all suspicious to me, but the gun really seems impossible. This is going on our list. At 1 hour, 14 minutes, and 45 seconds in the movie, we come to another widely reported Mandela effect. The Wicked Witch is remembered as saying, Fly, my pretties, fly. Currently, she says, Now fly, fly. At 1 hour, 28 minutes, and 42 seconds, we have a Mandela effect I have been hearing about for some time. Exposed by Toto, Oz tells Dorothy and her entourage to pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Some people remember Oz saying, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. That's definitely a movie marker for us. It seems that Dorothy will be stuck in Oz forever until Glinda the Good Witch tells Dorothy how to get back to Kansas. At 1 hour, 38 minutes, and 39 seconds in the movie, Dorothy is told, tap your heels together three times. But are these the instructions you remember? Some people swear that the magical words were, click your heels. I have to agree with them. Tap just doesn't sound right. Speaking of the clicking of heels, I noticed something interesting. While waiting to see the wizard, the lion sang a song called, If I Were the King of the Forest. His song contains the line, As I'd click my heel, all the trees would kneel. I see by this that the clicking of heels was a thing back in those days, but now Glinda says tap? I really think it was click. This is the final Mandela movie marker for The Wizard of Oz. So let's see how our list turned out. That is quite a list, isn't it? It is safe to say this movie qualifies for further analysis. It counts. We'll take it. It doesn't get any better than this. Congratulations and welcome to the club, Wizard of Oz. So what can we take away from this movie? We have to put something on the table of morals and meanings we have been building. Just like we saw with The Matrix, Alice in Wonderland, and The Truman Show, we can say that none of it was real. Dorothy wakes up and realizes she dreamt the whole thing. Wow, that's four Mandela Effect-related movies in a row that feature a situation where none of it was real. What else can we take away from The Wizard of Oz? This movie has something very specific in common with The Truman Show. The Truman Show had Kristoff, and this movie had The Wizard. So for the second time, we can say there's a man at the controls. That box is getting checked. I think the main moral of this movie was summed up by Dorothy when Glinda asked her what she has learned. Dorothy said, If I ever go looking for my heart's desire again, I won't look any further than my own backyard, because if it isn't there, then I never really lost it to begin with. I think that means we shouldn't look for help outside of our own selves. That's what the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, and the Cowardly Lion did, and they weren't really lacking anything after all. With Dorothy... She just wanted to go home, never realizing she had the power to do so. All of them had what they needed. None of them needed to be rescued, and the wizard didn't want to be bothered. First, he turned them away. Next, he gave them what should have been an impossible task. He told them to bring him the wicked witch's broom. He must have been annoyed when they did it so quickly, because he then told them to come back tomorrow. Because of all this, I'll tell you what I think this means. Stop asking for help. That is what we'll put on our table, and we will give it a check.